I just wanted to give uh, those that um, are here just a quick community update. Um, how many people is there? Is this is their first time coming to a networking workshop here? Wow. Okay, about 50-50. Okay. Um, for those of you that don't know much about OCP, I'm just going to do a quick uh, uh, overview, and then I'll turn it over to Scott and Omar. This is our foundation. Um, you'll see Dirk outside in the hallway. He is our marketing director and communications director. I'm on the community side. Rocky heads us up with Steve and Bill uh, doing most of the technical and the channel development. And then uh, Rajiv was just a part of our, um, was just added to our team earlier this year. He's our director of software and technologies. Um, you probably hear Kaylee on the calls as, long, as well as Michael, so you'll see them, um, you know, alternate calls. And then um, John LeBan is our European representative, and if you're coming to the Amsterdam Summit, you'll get a chance to hear from him. A little bit about what the OCP membership means. It's about 200 corporate members. Uh, they consist of adopters of OCP. They consist of suppliers, both hardware and software, and then they, cons uh, then they consist of solution providers. We have about 6,000 participants in our community, um, ranging from technical, both hardware and software, all the way to academia. And then our companies are from all over the world, and if you wanted to take a look at our membership directory, you can go online. And all of these slides will be posted um, on the Networking Workshop wiki page um, at the end of today. A little bit about what OCP is and its growth and its impact. So this is our non-board member company. So this does not include Microsoft, Intel, Facebook, Rackspace, and Goldman Sachs. The anticipation from a market study that was done by IHS Market earlier this year antis anticipates that today OCP has about a $1.8 billion impact around the world, and that's to grow to $6 billion around the world. So you can see how the geographies are broken up. Majority of it is in um, APAC, where the most amount of growth is expected over the next five years. But uh, the Americas and Europe are close behind. We have four levels of our corporate membership. If you're interested in becoming a member and are not a member yet, our workshops are open and free to everybody. But if you're not a member, you can go online and find out about our membership options. This is probably the most important part of OCP, and that's our project communities. We have 10 different project communities, and a lot of them have subgroups. And today, you're part of the networking community, but there's a whole other world out there, ranging from server storage, rack and power, hardware management, high performance computing, telco, the actual data center facility, and what goes into a data center facility to make it OCP ready open system firmware, and security. All of our members participate, and all of our calls and our activities are completely free of charge. So what can you do to get involved in the project activities? Each project has a page on our website, and on the page, each project has a charter. So if you get an opportunity, read the charter. Each project is made up of volunteer leaders. You'll see two of them here. Omar and, um, and Scott Emery, they're our project leads for the networking community, but all the subgroups also have a project lead. So Chin's out here, um, Kurt's out here. I'm trying to think of who else I see out here. <laughs> huh? Jeff's out here. I, I don't think Rajat's out here. I think he's the only one that uh, wasn't able to make it. So get a chance to know the project leads and you know, introduce yourself, get involved. Um, each project has a wiki page. So the wiki page consists of the charter, the meeting minutes and agenda for upcoming meetings. All of the, uh, the project calls are recorded, so all the recordings are also there, as well as any work in progress that's going on, contributions that are being made, um, software that's being worked on. That you can all find a way to get there through the wiki page. Um, if you're not part of the mailing list, when you go to the website, Go to the project page, you subscribe to the mailing list, and that way you will be updated on any activity that's going on. Like I said, all the calls are recorded, so if you miss a call because they, it might not be in your time zone or you might be traveling, you can go back and attend the calls, listen to them, and get involved. And then, of course, you're here at a workshop. We have other upcoming workshops. I'll talk about them in a minute. But again, the workshops are free. 
we try and uh, bookend it with either a conference or another activity so that you can take advantage of your travel. Um, so a lot of people ask, what does it mean to contribute to OCP? What it means for contributions are, what kind of contributions do we get? We get specifications, we get design packages, we get embedded software, and a lot of that is done under a contribution license or an approved software license like MIT or BSDL or something like that. Um, so that's what it means to contribute, is when you're signing a contribution license for specifications or design packages, you retain the IP, but it's done under a royalty-free patent on a cert. And when you have product that you've built on a specification that happens to be open or a design file that happens to be open, all we're doing when we recognize those products with an OCP accepted or an OCP inspired trademark is that we're validating that OCP has looked at those products and that the product is truly open. So when you contribute to o OCP, you're not giving away your IP, you retain your IP, and all you're doing is agreeing to a non-assert. Does that make sense to everybody? What types of contributions are, are there? Traditionally, we've had specifications, design files, product recognition, and that's supposed to say white paper. Um, but uh, now, we're also accepting a whole bunch of other contributions. We realized that because of our membership is made up of solution providers and adopters, not everybody had a specification to contribute. They had reference architectures because they've built around an open solution. They had uh, case studies that they have done where they have measured the performance of an open solution compared to a traditional solution. And so we want to hear about that. There's embedded software out there, and you'll hear a lot more about that today, but there's a lot of firmware. There's a lot of BMC software that's going on. There's a lot of hardware management software that's going on. And those are the kind of contributions that really make up a complete open solution. It's not just specs. With specs, it's great, but unless you have product and unless you have an ecosystem around those specs, those specs are really not valuable to the adopters. So if you're going to get involved, these are the kind of contributions that our community works towards, and this is what we work toward in providing our adopters, a complete ecosystem from the specification all the way to the product, all the way to the management, all the way to um, adoption stories. Some upcoming events. So we have our regional summit coming up in Amsterdam. That is the first time that we've done a European summit. Uh, it came out of an outpouring of demand from the local community to do something regionally there to address the huge growth of co-location and data centers that are cropping up in the um, Nordics and in the Northern European, Western European, Eastern European region. So we're doing a, a regional summit there. Um, sponsorships are still available. If you haven't registered and are interested in going, we bookended it with the Open Networking Summit, which is the week before, and Open Power, which is the exact same location um, on the third, fourth, and fifth. Um, the telco workshop is happening with the DCD Colo and Cloud uh, Conference. So that's on day zero. AT&T is hosting it in Dallas. It's on October 29th. You can get more information on our uh, events page. We have an HPC, a high performance computing workshop that's in the works right now. And that's going to be in sync with Supercomputing 18 in Dallas. So we're looking at that. We have a venue, but we're still working on a date. And we're looking for sponsors for food and AV and beverage. It's going to be a half a day workshop. Storage Group is doing a lot of work with archival storage as well as traditional storage. And uh, we're looking at a workshop sometime in the November time frame here in the Bay Area. Again, take a look at our events page. You'll find out more. And then, of course, our summit in, um, in San Jose in March. That's our big summit. We have about 3,500 uh, people that attend, two days of back-to-back -back workshops, um, great keynotes. So if you're interested in um, either attending the summit or being a part of the summit, uh, reach out to me or Dirk and let us know. And last but not least, our Amsterdam com Summit that's coming out.